Okay, so I just wanted to make this quick video as all the videos that I saw on uh, YouTube were in Russian and for some reason the bloody G575 and the other models, I don't know their names uh, names properly, they were mentioned. So this is not an unboxing video, you might, might already know the headphones are actually on uh, around my neck right now. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is these headphones in case you wish to buy them now in the country that i live in these are worth uh, twelve thousand rupees i'm uh, sorry thirteen thousand to fourteen thousand really depends on the daraz website that is in the country that i live in these were around fourteen thousand seven hundred at the time of recording and i think the official store is also selling them for fourteen uh, 14,700. I got these for from 12,000 from a shop and I'll, I'll try to mention the shop. I don't have their, I don't have the receipt in front of me. Otherwise I would have given them credit for sourcing these. And I'd like to talk about these headphones because I moved from the Onikuma K5, uh, the gaming headset to these headphones. And I'd like to speak about the differences. I'm, I haven't used any other gaming headphones other than those two. So this is, if you can see, this is quite tight. Now, all of the uh, reviewers that I was actually listening to, they said that these are comfortable. For me, they were like, I used them yesterday and uh, this these caused a headache, especially when I'm wearing the glasses. So if I, if I, wear the glasses and I wear them. Now, these caused a headache. Now, I'm not sure why they caused a headache, but I think they did because of active noise cancellation, which I will speak about later. So this, I believe if you, if you take a look at the, look at um, active noise cancellation, cancellation hybrid diaphragm. So in one of the websites, it said that this has a uh, hybrid, yeah, it has act uh, hybrid active noise cancellation technology. I'll speak about that in a while. So before that, let me let me tell you about these headphones. I think they're comfortable. They are not as comfortable as the Onikuma ones, but the Onikuma headphones, the K5, they were pre they were pressing against my head, and this is a flying. Uh, this is the, these are flying headbands. These are called flying headbands. So they automatically adjust, but the cups apply a, some amount of pressure on the ears. And if I'm wearing, wearing the glasses, I yesterday, again, today, when I'll test it, I'll see whether it is the headphones, the pressure that are, that are, that are, that are causing, that is causing the headache or it was the active noise cancellation. Okay. So uh, even here, you can see that it says fly, flying wing suspension headband. So uh, I call this flying headband. I did not know that was called flying wind, sus wing suspension headband. And you also have an inline controller, which I think I can show it in the video. This is an inline controller, which you can use to mute the microphone. You can use it to uh, take the volume up and down, which is something that I don't recommend using because especially on Linux, like I'm on Arch Linux right now. So this, it does not work properly on it. And these, this button will actually turn the lights on or off. So you can see that the light right now is on and it's off. So you can turn the light on and off. I haven't tested the mic and I'm not going to since uh, most people that are watching this video uh, can actually, w will be, I mean, they will be using the mic. The mic is, I know like the sound that I heard from the other YouTube videos, it's, it's okay. I, I'm not sure whether this is, a noise cancelling or not, I think it's not, but it does have a pop filter and it can, you can adjust it and it's also removable, you can actually remove it. So uh, you can remove this as well. So my, what I think about this headphones, the sound is clear and you don't need any software. All of this, I believe is inside of, uh, in, uh, you can control everything using this. So active noise cancellation is over here. The uh, surround sound, footsteps and music uh, knobs are over here. The volume controls are over here. Mute mic is over here and the light switch is over here. The problem though is that um, 
it doesn't say that you do not need a software on their website. Like I tried to download the driver on Windows 10, but I could not because the headphones, the software for these headphones don't exist. So I, I don't know why that that's the case. Um, probably everything is inside. The firmware handles everything, although I'm, I'm not sure how you can adjust a 7.1 surround uh, sound uh, headphones. Uh, I do not know how they can be adjusted. These headphones also have a 7.1 surround sound. However, uh, I haven't really noticed a difference between 7.1 and the music mode so far. Uh, and probably it's because I haven't actually listened to any 7.1 surround uh, audio yet. I'm not sure whether it's, I mean, I'm still, I don't know about this 7.1 surround. I do not know much about that. I do know about active noise cancelling, which I'm going to speak about after I speak about another thing, is that if you're using Linux, the uh, this is connected through a USB cable. Okay, so... I'm, I'm using Arch Linux or Endeavor OS. Basically, I'm using Endeavor OS, which is based on Arch Linux. So it may or may not work. I It worked for me. It worked for me. I just plugged it in. It worked for me. I had to adjust the audio settings after that. And I did that through also Mixer. And I also uh, used Pulse Audio to... Uh, sorry, I used PAV control or PAV control, I think, PAVU control, it's it's a package. I use that to turn this mic off and make sure that this is only uh, is, this is only being used for analog stereo. So uh, the uh, another thing on Linux is that the Linux seem to have an option for 7.1 surround. I think it's a 5.1 digital surround, but whenever I would turn that on, these would just like make a sound like that kind of like that kind of a sound and this didn't work so i'm just using it on analog stereo um on 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 linux and on windows there is no such option i'm using voice meter on 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 windows 10 with equalizer apo so these do not have options they just work like that as far as i can tell since i don't really have a driver now let's talk about active noise cancellation. So the active noise cancellation is hybrid noise cancellation. It has two uh, two uh, microphones. One is on the outside, one is on the inside. Now the inside one you can't really see. But what hybrid noise cancellation does is it actually listens to the music that you're listening to. And based on that, it tries to cancel out the sounds that are in the environment. So you get the best of both worlds. Sometimes active noise cancelling also ends up cancelling noise that you would want to hear. The problem, though, is that active noise cancelling can cause headache. Okay, it can cause a headache. Uh, uh, there's there are videos on that. It feels like you're going like up a hill, or uh, like if if a uh, no, not up a hill. Basically, it, it, the headache that you have is the descending of a plane. If you have ever been on a plane and you start descending, there is like a suction effect that happens in your in your in your ears. So I felt that uh, in when I was when I was. Uh, when I was uh, using this yesterday, uh, probably due to active noise cancellation or due to the cups applying a lot of pressure. Speaking of the cups, the cups are very soft. The, my ear was not hitting the end over here, so I would not get these uh, get these marks that I would get from other earphones, including the Onikuma. Although Onikuma's cushioning is also pretty good, Onikuma K5. But uh, the uh, the these headphones have probably probably did cause a headache due to the active noise cancellation it wasn't probably the cups and it because I can I can feel that it's not applying a lot of pressure on my head it is but I don't think it is a lot so yeah okay so as far as the uh, sound quality is concerned the sound is clear I'd say uh, it has okay bass and 7.1 your ears can actually tell uh, the bass and it, it, it's, it, can get, it does a good job at separating the sounds as far as I can tell. You can hear things clearly. And uh, I was playing Counter-Strike 2 to test these, uh, test these headphones and I could hear things clearly. In fact, I could hear them pretty loudly as well, which actually was confusing my brain because I haven't, I'm not used to uh, very clear sounds that I, that I basically uh basically was hearing at that time so that that's basically that's basically it so i'm just going to uh just full screen my uh video capture 
so you can actually see these headphones uh this is this is this is how tight they are so you can see that they're pretty tight uh that's the flying headrest i'll turn, try to turn the lights on which is over here lights are on uh the active noise cancelling i can't I'll try to show this to you this is the this is the uh control over here you'll be able to see the uh the uh switch between uh footsteps 7.1 surround and music this is the active noise cancellation which is off since i'm testing them without it and i think that's it the mic is over here this is the mic you can see that it can rotate anywhere and i keep it over here and uh, this is how they fit and uh, even without active noise cancelling i can not i mean uh, it's difficult for me to hear what's going around so they're, they do a pretty good job at soundproofing as well they do apply a little bit of force uh on on the ears as they have got flying head, head uh, flying headband so they need that so if i just press it like this uh, I don't think it's applying a lot of pressure, but I think it is. I'm, I'll have to actually probably do a follow-up video on whether this is the active noise cancellation or these headphones that are causing the headache. So I'll have to actually, you know, uh, make a video on that. I'm not sure about this right now uh, since, uh, since uh, I just used them for a day. But yes, just be careful. The active noise cancel cancellation is good, but do not think that it's going to like eliminate everything. Of course, I'm using a noise cancellation on my microphone right now through Easy Effects on Linux. I can make a video about that as well. And I use like I'll not be editing. I'll not be taking out the uh, taking out the uh, noise from this from this video as this is being done live. It's it's active noise cancellation, uh, which is being done through through a plugin. So remember that there is a fan uh, which you can't hear but there is a fan in my room this does not cancel the sound of the fan it's not like somebody speaking like somebody is like right next to you and they'll start speaking you will not hear them you will probably because this this is not using active noise cancelling it is using hybrid active noise cancelling so it tries to match the music that you're hearing that uh, and tries to match the sound, sorry, gets information from the sound that you're hearing, and based on that, tries to clear out any other sounds that are in the environment. So I'm not, I haven't used an active noise cancelling headphone before, but, but uh, this uh, m like cancels the noise from the environment. It doesn't uh, doesn't do a very good job with the fan, and I can understand that because the fan is so close probably the it causes a disturbance within the hardware so uh, of course it cannot defy the laws of physics if 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 uh, the sound is pretty close then the, the, it'll go, get through this get through or disturb the actual hardware the actual uh, solid hardware so probably that's the reason why it can't cancel it but it does cancel out the sounds of uh, sounds of uh, like the environment it does do that if it's consistent the consistent sound completely like uh, like blocks them out and probably that's what my brain did not accept yesterday I was, I was used to hearing all those sounds and it was just silent it was quite silent when i was playing and when i was uh, watching videos if you wish to support me uh please check the links in the description i'm selling cor a course on udemy uh, for freelance game developers uh, i can make you a game developer and also you can become a freelancer a freelance game developer you can start earning through that or you can just order a game from me as i'm a game developer as well on fiverr uh, and on other platforms as well but uh, yeah so please do if you wish to support me the links will be in the description i'd appreciate that thank you very much for watching